Oof. Okay, just come and take a look at this. It's different for you. Yep, definitely. We've actually got a divot now, which is past the ball, which at the start of the session, everything was well forward. Yep. That was amazing because we've got the two things right. We've got lower penetrating ball flight and we've got the strike. Best swing that you've done today, that is. Mm -hmm. Are you sick and fed up of duffing your irons? Well, that's exactly how Liam felt before today. And today we showed him our best drill to help him with his ball strike. Yes, and it's definitely gonna help you if you struggle with that. Now, welcome to the channel. If you are looking to improve your game, make sure you hit that subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up too. And if you would like to knock off five shots off your round, check out our free video series in the description. It's going to help. Let's get to it. So welcome back to Golfers Transformed. We are here at the Asprey, beautiful day, and we have Liam, Tim, me and my golf member, and we're gonna work on your ball striking, Liam, today. Yep. Some issues with consistency with your irons. For you guys as well, if you're struggling with that compression ball turf, it's gonna make a huge difference in what we go through with you, Liam. I'm, I'm looking forward to the difference in the sound and the feel that it gives you, and hopefully we can give you some things that you can take from it as well. Um, let's hit a few shots. Okay. We're gonna go to this 14th green here at the Asprey, get you warmed up. We've looked at the golf swing already, so we sort of have an idea of what we're going to do. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Nice. Now that shot there, really nice shot to target. In the winter, that might not have been the same. No, Ground's it wouldn't. a little firmer now. Yeah. A little bit sort of ground maybe and ball together or ground first, but it's more of a sweep, yeah? It was a sweep. It feels like a sweep. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Again, similar to the first one. Lovely shot, maybe a little ground. Yeah, it's ground first, short it's come up one. short. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fairly reflective of what the game is like yeah. at the moment. And we've seen, that wasn't that bad a shot, was no, it? No, no. But with the same club from the same place, you've got some balls that are on the green, yeah. but some that are coming up short. And you may be experiencing this yourself, watching this now going, well, I actually just don't know how far my seven iron goes. I think yours goes from 136 to 145, 49. Yeah. So having a nine yard spread is very difficult when you've got trouble at the front or even trouble at the back. Yeah. Okay, right, this is where we're gonna sort of start to change. You get some understanding about things. I think whenever you wanna make a change, the number one thing, first of all, you need to understand what's going on. So if we come and take a look at this here, um, got a couple of lines on the screen here. Mm -hmm. Now, th this line here, just opposite the lead heel, mm -hmm is what we'd like to see is by the time you're at impact, we would like to see that you are fully against that line. And you mentioned that you might feel that you're hanging back. Yeah. So we can see here, club bottoms out early. We haven't closed the gap between your left shoulder and left hip, left knee and the line. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we can't strike really ball then turf. So yeah. the goal of today, in order for you to get ball followed by the turf, is to get you fully against that line. And that's a great line for you guys to draw at home if you've got an analysis app where you can actually draw the line from the lead heel and you want to see that by the time you're at impact, you are fully against that line. That's going to enable you to get ball followed by the turf. So that's okay. our goal for today. Perfect. But there's one thing that's stopping us from doing it. <laughs> okay, so it's not just about fixing that, it's about fixing something else first. I'm just going to show you something here as well. You mentioned that you get a lot of height. Yeah. yeah. Too much height. So when we take a look at the um we're going to take a look at what the club face does through the golf ball here through impact i want you to notice the club face okay we're going to keep an eye on the club face and then we're going to notice what the lead arm does through the ball here chicken wing chicken wing mm -hmm. yeah so what we've got through the through impact and i'm going to sort of swap places here if you just come and stand around the front here if you come around the front as well you'll see a better a better view of this is that on the way through the club face doesn't really close that much okay and we get this little bit of a, a sort of chicken wing effect. Now the problem is here, it often then produces too much loft. Mm -hmm. It also will force you to almost stay back. Mm -hmm. If we get your club face working a little bit more like this, it enables us to deal off the club a little bit, but also it gives us then a reason to, to move forward. Okay. If we're leaving the club face open and sort of having this scooping effect, it tends to want to force us to hang back really. Mm -hmm. So the number one thing we're gonna do first is get the club face to close, doing more of this motion. That's gonna give us the green light to then start to work this way. Okay. Now most people start would wanna work at this first, mm -hmm. but we need to get the club doing a good job first. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, makes Okay, sense. so if you just jump on the, on, in place for us there. So this yeah. is important. I want exactly. you to just take hold of the club with your right hand, take your left hand off for me. Take that hand away, perfect. So just get your left hand just out for me like this. You can relax that one on the ground, perfect. This is the important thing, just soft in your posture. All we're gonna focus on is how we move the, the lead arm through the golf ball. Now, we've got a watch on here, we've also got the glove on. We want your watch on the way through. This is what I want you to feel that it does. 
Okay. Okay, and this is going to be quite different. Now you at the moment are more this way where mm -hmm. the watch and the back of the glove are pointing up and then we start to chicken wing on the way through. What we're going to feel is if we get the watch feeling as if it's almost facing more down and the palms facing up through the golf ball. Okay. Okay, let's just take your hands on the club and just take your right hand off now. Perfect, so I'm going to do a couple of these, so soft pressure. This is going to feel quite different to what mm -hmm. you'd normally feel, yeah? So this now will produce a lot less loft at the golf ball mm -hmm. because now we're working on actually the closure of the face. Okay. Feel different? Yep. Good. Okay, and again, so we're going to make a couple of these. This is, this is so important. What the club face does through the golf ball allows the body to move in a good way. Okay, place both hands on. I want you to do a couple of swings for me, just feeling that. How does that feel? Different? Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely does feel different. Yeah, it feels like I'm, my, my body's actually able to rotate. It definitely feels like a much more forward position. Yeah. My weight's definitely a lot further on my, on my lead side um, than hanging back. Okay. Well, the number one thing at the moment is that this is, I'm going to set the expectations for this as well because this is important. The first few shots we're going to do, we're just going to get you to hit some half shots. And okay. all I want to see the ball is go low left. Okay. Almost we're going to hit some low hooks. It's quite, it's quite strange to do that, but all we want to see is that you can produce a little bit more of a closed face. Just when you do these swings as well for me, Liam, just get a bit of a brush on the ground for yep. me. A bit of a half swing. Perfect. There you go. Bit of ground first, yeah, yeah. it's okay. I'll just drop it on a tee actually first, yep. a couple of tees there. So I'm just going to tee it up a little bit. Yeah. Just reason being, I want you to focus less on the strike, more on the, mm -hmm. the motion of the hands. Again. Sometimes guys, this is a great thing to do. If you're just working on a motion, I'm just bringing the, the ball up a little bit just to focus on the, the, uh, the motion rather than worry so much about the contact. And the, the beauty of this is, the beauty of this is, <coughs> what we're going to do here is that I don't want to move to the downswing until this is actually better. Because there's no way we can, we need to make a change here before we make the other change. There we go. That's better. Beautiful. There That's we go. Better. I want to see this low Definitely left. Definitely trying to, yeah. You'll start to get a different feel. When you really nail it, yep. you're going to feel a difference. And I'm waiting okay. for that difference before we move on. Sure. Beautiful. Now, that, that's, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Sorry. Nearly out of bounds. <laughs> I know, it's all good. That's Nearly bad. out of bounds, but that's exactly what I want to see. So if you look on screen here now, you'll see downswing. We're going to look at what the hands are doing. You see how the right, the right arm passes over the left now. Mm -hmm. We've got this sort of release. The glove hand is underneath the right hand. Yeah. So it means that we can continue to move this. Mm -hmm. There you go. But now we're going to start to get you moving towards the target in a better okay. way. Okay. So now we're going to combine the two. Okay, so all I'm going to do now then, for, if you take your setup for us there, Liam, I'm going to place this just outside your lead heel. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So all we want you to do now, actually, if, you, if we swap places a second, if you yep. just jump back in front of me here, this is the <coughs> important thing now. So I've placed that outside your lead heel. If you just stand there for us, Liam. Pl place that outside your lead heel. Now you'd swing to the top of the backswing and normally you would start, but you wouldn't move towards that. So you're hanging back ground first. Mm -hmm. What we want to be able to do now is from the top of the swing, we want to be able to move towards this before we strike the golf ball. So when we get to the whole left side, onto this before that golf ball. Okay. If we can do that, that's what's going to enable us to get the ball followed by the turf. So this is a bit of feedback. Mm -hmm. Let's have a couple of swings where we just uh, Deal it. see if we can move towards that. So same feeling with the hands, but now we want you to move in towards that on the way down. Good. All the way through for me. Good. Crucial that we still get that hand, those hands feeling Roll the same thing here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So it's interesting, I don't know where you noticed that when you actually hit the ground then, you missed the tee peg. So you I went over the, over the tee okay. and actually hit the ground there. Right. You've never done a shot like that before. No. So it's like, it's just now a question of just blending these two together. Okay. Okay. Now just, just notice on that the height. More penetrating, yeah? Yeah. More balanced at the end. Absolutely. Good. A yeah, really nice shot. Just out of interest for you guys as well, look, this is all about irons and ball striking. What are the issues that you have with your irons at the moment? What's the fault that you're trying to fix? Is it hanging back? Is it over the top? Let us know down in, down in the comments below. Now we're going to change it a little more and put some spray here. 
Now we're going back off the ground because we want to make we want to sort of progress it on a little bit. And all I'm going to do now is spray a line. Okay, so really useful to do this. So line on the ground. This is just some strike spray you can get. Um, and this just tells us and it gives us a, a great visual. So ultimately, if our ball is on the line, we want to strike the ball and then we want to hit, if you come down here, what, what we want to do is hit the ground here. The divot needs to be here. Now we know for you, Liam, that your striking the ground was all here today. Yep. But we know why that was, <coughs> because the weight wasn't getting onto the lead side. Yep. So now all the focus is going to be, if I swap places with you, all the focus is in the practice swings now is that we, we've got two things. We've got, I want to make sure that the, the club face is releasing or closing, mm -hmm. but the practice swings are going, how can I strike past the line? The only way you're going to strike past that line is by shifting that weight to that lead leg. If we hang back, like you were doing earlier, you can see how easy it is to hit that ground first. Do you want to hit one, Andy? Just, just, just chip one out there. Just chip one out yeah, there. Yeah, chip one out there with, with a good one. I've just got you on slow mo. So I'll just do. Oh, you got a slow mo. Yeah, so I'll well just on, hit so. one here. We'll need to make sure where I'm aiming in the right way here. Yeah, you're a little bit right. You didn't draw your line very well. <laughs> so you'll notice what if you look at the ground here, Sean. If you just bring you in there, you'll see on that one, ball. Obviously, a bit of the line, but all the divot there is past, and that's the. This is what we're after, and if we can do that for you today, this is a great thing for you to train on the. The range, great feedback for you, but it just, it's just going to constantly move you in this direction. Okay. Let's have a couple of practice swings where you, you focus sure. on the two things. Your job is to brush the ground here mm -hmm. and get the release on the way through. Have some awareness on this one when you hit that ground, whether it's good or bad. What do you think? That was good. That, that was, was good. after, after the line. And you can there. see it there. And this, awesome. look, this is such a great drill to do. This is because. It just forces you to do the right movements. It forces you to move to that lead leg. And it's an external thing as well. What, you're, what Liam's not going to be focusing too much on now is his body positions. He's just going, let's hit the ground past the ball. So it's easy when there's no ball there. We put a ball there, and now we've got to coordinate the two. So let's hit the shot. Oof. OK, just come and take a look at this. Now. OK. It's different for you. Yep, definitely. We've actually got a divot now, which is past the ball, which at the start of the session, everything was well forward. Yep. That was amazing because we've got the two things right. We've got lower penetrating ball flight and we've got the strike. Best swing that you've done today, that is. Mm -hmm. Here's the shot that you hit where you've got the full ball followed by the turf. So we'll see here. Back swing really nice. You'll see on screen here, guys. Now there's more of a shift and we'll see here the difference here. Now we've got mm -hmm. a move towards the target. We've got some move towards the target. You are so much now closer to the line. This is what caused you to get ball followed by the turf. Let's look at the hands. Hands can still be a little bit better. Yeah, they could, yeah. It's hard to think of two things. It it's is. hard to multitask, guys, but Liam's I doing very well. Oof. Could, Oof. Be, could be in as well, this could be. What do we think of the height? Yeah, much better, actually. Have a look at the ground. Yeah, perfect. So we can see again here. Ball, a little bit of the white line gone, and we can see that the majority of the turf there is, so your bottom of the swing has moved from here to now moving past the golf ball. So we hope that was useful, guys. Remember to check out our five shots lower video series if you want to knock five shots off your game. It will help. We cover everything in there. The link is in the description, and we'll see you soon.